Welcome back to Psalm number 10. Psalm 10. Why, O Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In his arrogance, the wicked man hunts down the weak, who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts of the craving of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. In his pride, the wicked does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. And I have a little face right there, a little sad face. It is sad if you have no room for God. His ways are always prosperous. He is haughty, and your laws are far from him. He sneers at his enemies. He says to himself, nothing shall shake me. I'll always be happy, never have trouble. His mouth is full of curses and lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambush, he murders the innocent, watching in secret for his victims. He lies in wait like a lion in cover. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless and drags them off to his net. His victims are crushed. They collapse. They fall under his strength. He says to himself, God has forgotten. He covers his face and never sees. Which we know is not true, right? God always sees. Arise, Lord. Lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, He won't call me to account? But you, O God, do see trouble and grief. You consider it to take it in hand. The victim commits himself to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and evil man. Call him to account for his wickedness. That would not be found out. The Lord is king forever and ever, and the nations will perish from his land. You hear, O Lord, the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them, and you listen to their cry, defending the fatherless and the oppressed, in order that man who is of the earth may terrify no more. I love that first line. Let's go back to that. Why, O Lord, do you stand far off, and why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? But he doesn't. It may seem like he's far away, but he's not. He's always right there in our times of trouble. And then a lot of this going on from verse 2, it talks about the arrogance and the wicked and how they boast of their cravings and they have pride and all of that. And you know, my friends, sometimes it does seem like, right, that the people who aren't following God, they're the ones that prosper. You think, how does this person get the promotion or why did they get the job and I didn't? And it sometimes seems like they're getting ahead, but... You just have to trust that God has a plan for you and his timing is perfect and that he does see all of this. And these people are boasting in their own strength and we just always need to be relying on God's strength and waiting for his plan. And then here I have a note by verse 12. Arise, Lord, lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. And over here on the side, this was in, uh, I guess, 2017. Rebecca needed money uh, for MOBAP when she was going to college. And I was praying for God to provide. And it was really interesting. She got a scholarship. I don't know. It was supposed to be like even from someone from like another state or something. It was really a bizarre scholarship that they somehow wove in and allowed her to get. And that allowed her to continue there. And then a second scholarship she got. I'll never forget this. Um, so our son did percussion, always for band and marching band, but she would always do winter guard was with the flags. And so they said, well, do you think you could do um, percussion? Because we have like a $500 scholarship for that. She's like, I could learn. And, you know, she can read music some, but I mean, a percussion, that's a totally different animal than piano that she knows. And she and her friend both did it. They both were doing color guard for MOBAP and had money for that. But then God gave them this extra scholarship. So I'm so glad I wrote that down because that reminds me today that two crazy scholarships that probably should not have been hers were awarded and she worked hard and you know finished through and did the percussion practice and then she did the concert and that just reminds me that God is faithful and that's why my friends I encourage you to write in your Bible or journal or just write things down because when you're going through hard times you think oh I'm all alone and God's forgotten me but he has not I'll never forget she got money for doing percussion that she didn't really know how to do but her brother did so anyway God is good and he has a sense of humor too so I hope today you remember that he is with you and he's going to provide for you all the way. Have a great day. Whew, was that a little sneeze? <laughs> Remembering God's going to provide for you. And I will see you back here tomorrow. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. 